Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Real Life Podcast right here on SPM Buzz. They call me super host Miss Kithinji, and on set, I am joined by Rich Gallius Jackson. Then you have a gracious host, the Debutita. Debutita and Kamaja Kula to talk to our set. Anyway, not like Wabble, men, not a name, never mean rude. So you may want to see. I'm working on my tone. It's not my wish that I have a strong commanding voice ah. so people misinterpret it for, for, <laughs> for rudeness <laughs> so say anakuwa anakuwa soft boy ile ya hello kofiti so so i'm trying to this that's the new me Mm. Yeah, you better get used to it. Fresh na zumbua. But it I'm going to call pasta and talking about pastas. Today's topic of discussion is where does we draw, do we draw the line between religion and manipulation? Now this is where spirituality meets manipulation. And the question is have you had an experience of religion and you know na hii nayo ni religion lakini hii ni manipulation? Eh yeah, manipulation me I feel like is just in a kwanga imepata perfect opportunity because for you to be manipulated ni mse kutap into what you are really going through. So now when I finished I a primary pale Marura primary mimi nimesomea Marura unajua Marura iko Nairobi. So Marura primary atukukuwa na ganzi ya kwenda high school. Eh wewe ni kwa miang ni kwa ni two something hapo. Sasa nilikuwa nimerudi Nairobi, si mna nao nenda gaocha ushago. Mm-hmm. KCP inatoka. Unarudi? Nairobi. Nairobi, mm-hmm. unangoja uitwe. Mhm. Ndio uitike. Uitwe siji dagoreti yai nini. Sasa hiyo time kuna crusade ilikuwa pale Kariobangi. Eh ya church fulani ilikuwa hapa tao. Zile church wakifanya crusade kwenye on Monday mnabebu au mnapelekwa. Hiyo church. So Monday wakasema kama umeguzwa na uko na ombi ambalo unataka. Pengine we unaweza kuwa hata ni kijana ambaye hauna pesa ya kwenda kuendeleza masomo. Familia yako imejaribu, mtihani umefanya vizuri nipiga ka 310 kangu kasafi labda. So mwanzo nikaona mse ameni ame ameambiwa ame na mwokozi. Mimi ndio sina mimi ndio nataka niendeleze masomo lakini wazazi ni kama wanaangaika wana, naweza kosa kuingia high school, high school. on time mimi report late. So wakasema watu wanachukua ende crusade. Mimi ni kijana mdogo. Nikaingia kwa matatu, walikuwa wanalipiana, tukapele kwa church on Monday. On Monday wakasema sema hizo vitu. Kuna watu wamemaliza shule hapa, kuna watu ambao wanatafuta kazi. Songeni hapa mbele. Eh? Yeah. I have seen in three weeks you people are going to succeed. If you are a parent, you are going to get school fees for your kid. If you are a kid and you just finish school fees you just finish school unaenda kupata nini i can see there are people here e ule mse alitaja alitaja hata karibu aseme amevasha amevasha tia black na karibu nitoke <laughs> so it happened we went there and they were touching us here ile dunda dunda akaguza mama fulani akadunda akadunda tu ngine wa pili pu tu eh hey, mimi nikaguzwa Nikaona nikaona pia juu ya kipindi acha ni dunde. Ndio. Msani. Juu wase wanaanguka so pia mimi nikaanguka. Alafu wase wakaenda kuanguka. Juu sasa wanaweza sema wewe ni wa shetani. Eh eh anguka. tena anachoma. Eh ana pasta anaweza nifinyia kitu anaweza no jamaa na dunda sana. So <laughs> kurudio. He can hit. What if kila mtu alikuwa anaanguka juu wa kwanza watatu walianguka? Eh. Wewe what if ni kipindi? Mm-hmm. Lakini nikaenda shule the next week. Mhm ilikuwa tu imepangwa hivyo labda mm-hmm. so nilikuwa naanza ku believe huu pasta yenyewe alikuwa ameniona na ananielewa mm-hmm. tulifunga hivi kama nimeenda hiyo kanisa sande ya kwanza lakini vitu alisema hiyo sande sasa zikufanyika so inakuwa gani opportunity mm-hmm. hii manipulation mm-hmm. someone just got the right mtu anakana angalia mbenya naambia wewe unapendwa upendeki Sijui nini. Wana <laughs> umeona nataka kukutumia vibaya. Watu wanaitwa faith. Eh. Hawana nyota ya ndoa. Eh, do you know out of 20 people there is high Apukosi. chance. Akosi. Hebu niambie kama umse, hawezi mwambia lala njaa, akose kulala. Mm. Kama ume get vitu nine right. Atalala, atalala. So so for me I feel like the line between manipulation and religion na kwa manipulation only comes when It's a perfect moment. Msia na speak kitu alafu na apenuko kwa hiyo space. Ni rahisi sana manipulate Because you feel like 
they know something concerning me directly and they have been sent to speak to me that's when it happens because when people are in problems they are desperate Liz, do you have a story of religion yeah. and manipulation? Actually, it's the same one kama yake. Kuna okay, yangu si manipulation, but mimi ufikire story hadi leo. Kuna siku tukiwa form 2, nilikuwa nimedunda exam fulani and I was in a very prestigious national school. So hapo on Sunday na shangaa sasa hizi chemistry sijui nimepata nini. Pastor akasema, "Oh, if you've been going through a lot, come we pray your grades will be better." So si mimi nikaenda hapo mbele. So after kwenda hapo mbele me who believe okay nilikuwa na believe like pastor akikuguza hivi na kuanga ni uongo like ni uongo but nikasema leo acha nijitestie so tukaenda hapo tukapanga laini so akafika mahali tulikuwa akaguza ude mwenye alikuwa kando yangu akaanguka nikasema kipindi do you know pastor hata akuniguza aliyeka mkono hivi nikasikia kama nimepigwa kama nimetegwa nikaanguka alafu nikaanza kupiga nduru so ulikuwa na bajeka this is a true story mm. so now after that nikaanza kupiga nduru akaniombea akaniwacha hiyo siku hakuna mtu aliniongelesha shule one week so hiyo like naweza taka ni mitu hiyo pasta nimuulize what happened because hii inawaambia si story ya jaba like nilianguka cha ukweli nilisikia tu nimepigwa naitwa sweep mm. nilisikia tu sweep si kupigwa <laughs> sangine pia tu bye tu mzuri <laughs> Aliwa shule. Sikupigwa sweep, nilianguka. Then I started becoming a very toxic religious person. Siku anasikiza secular songs like msanii wa gospel kama kina masterpiece wakiimba wa vitu zenye na feel ni secular na acha kuwasikiza. Naambiwa sifai kusikiza kwanza Willie Paul tuliyapangwa kona mapepo nikaacha kumsikiza. Like nikifika home nione tena KTN inacheza ngoma secular na change TV asema the devil is a liar nini I was so toxic but now after nilimaliza high school nikajiuliza what is this now like i am so toxic mpaka na judge watu nikiona tu ndenye hivi nikiona hiyo pants na unatunywa kana sema wewe you are sent from the devil like i was that toxic ikafika point nikawacha nikaona labda hii religion sometimes mimi nafikiria ngani stories za jaba like if you ask me there is a higher being yes but i is it to zingine ni pepo inaongea but <laughs> but hiyo <laughs> kitu ya kuanguka inanishangazanga hadi wa leo ndio <laughs> mlitegwa mlitegwa <laughs> si, si, nilisikia kama nimepigwa sweep na hakuna mtu alinipiga sweep nilianguka cha ukweli nilianguka cha ukweli sweep ndio ulipigwa kwa nini nyenye you have a story <laughs> akimi kusema ukweli eh me I, i relate to religion differently we feel like from ukiwa mdogo hapana tangu nijijue nianze ku yani siongee kama pastor jubutita tena hapa nikaa na detect mapepo <laughs> <laughs> but i feel like na mimi story yangu na religion ni i know what to take i know the teachings to take from a pastor na what to like hii wa chipite hii ina kama manipulation but i know what to pick and what to not, not to pick hmm. So me see that I have a story. Uh, uh-huh. Mimi niko nayo actually because Mimi I grew up in a very very religious you know foundation you know si tulikuwa wale watu hadi morning glory mko nayo hadi home na mnaweza itadi neighbors wakam muombe and na kila mtu alikuwa na siku yake ya ku preach unaona so there is this particular time um there's a certain, a certain pastor I am short sighted guys in case you didn't know I wear contact lenses and I wear glasses. So hiyo siku akatuombea mimi na sister yangu cause us we are short sighted. Akasema today lazima muone you have to see and your eyesight has to come back. You need to believe. Ah si tukasema sawa. Manze nani hataki kuona? <laughs> we are ready to see, you know? Mm. So he prayed, he prayed, he prayed. Eh hey, tukambo tuemi wani tuweke huko tukafinywa. Macho tukaombewa, tukaombewa. <laughs> Then kutufunua after kumaliza maombi, tunaambwa tuseme kama tunaona. Na vile anakwambia useme uone, au kuna option ya kusema uoni. <laughs> like there is no option of you actually you say that. Okay, well. Ni vile tu ilikuwa, you know? <laughs> yani ilikuwa Just speak your testimony speak, no, speak no. your testimony you know <laughs> so you have no option so to me that felt yes they say you need faith to to be healed maybe i did not have enough faith probably but you said you are seeing yo i mean come on uli sema <laughs> well ni kama unajua au uwezi sema uoni lazima useme at least tunaona akapewa za macho juu mnaona at that point niliona mimi hiyo kama ilikuwa ni manipulation to be very honest <laughs> so unaona eh? 
Tulisema tu hey iko tu sawa. So sasa hiyo uvai miwani hadi sasa usiku asubuhi unaamka na mioni yako because you know you really cannot see. So that to me I feel like it got to a point of manipulation. But hope pastor alikuwa anajulikana yupo nyadi kansa AIDS. Unasema so, anakuambia na vita. Sema unaona ama uone. Eh hey, ilikuwa imefika ni kama lazima useme yaani uwezi sema hauoni. Unajua vitu imesema hiyo ya lazima nikakumbuka hata mimi kuna time nilienda ka church na watu walikuwa nadunda. Mimi sikudunda. Hope pastor alikuwa ni hadi chini. Alikuwa na asana watu. Hata mimi nishaisikumwa. It's true. Wana siku mimi nishe siku mwana nitakataa kuanguka. He, mimi sasa hata ndio nimekumbuka. Na sio kamera dundangi. Ya washikangu na wewe. Can you imagine me a whole liz eh nilikuwa nenanga sasa sema ni kanisa nani hapo uhuru pa kizo maenzi to matu something. Tulikuwa tunapewangwa vikombe za red, tunaambiwa tuweke mafuta, then unaeka mahali kwa kona ceiling juu, ndio pesa ita ita come. So mimi mpaka nilikuwa na handkerchief imeandikwa breakthrough uh, break 2007 zilikuwa handkerchief za, za za pink. So hiyo handkerchief nini mafuta na nachota mafuta ya mamangu na wekele hapo juu. Eh nikiamka asubuhi shika TV. Eh mimi hapo nimeshika TV ni nini? Lakini TV si okay. wote tumeshika. Lakini hapana ujashika TV, ujashika TV. TV. Tafadhali shika TV yako. <laughs> Alafu unaje kitumishangaza. Mimi kitu nilikuwa naangaliaga ni vile ana predict show ile record wa sunday lakini anasema na kuona hapo ulipoka na show ile record wa last week umeshika ni ya mchele wewe na kuona labda hata tena wana repeat bado kwa kbc tena wana irudia na kuona hapo unaitwa moses umetafuta kazi na kuna kazi ulipeleka jumatatu kwa apply there is high chances in this kuna moses there is moses yes for sure but now what are we saying are we saying that we do not believe in this we, we are saying, man of god or what are we saying not even we, me personally yeah religion is uh, is so personal no uh, religion is not religion mm-hmm. okay religion yeah. is personal your relationship with god yeah being a believer and understanding mm. that god opened doors and the world is about energies and you have to be the right energy for things to happen <laughs> yeah that's the world but now the doctrines of different religions ndizi naanza kuwa na issue because you know we are born into it you just uh, you are born and you find out that in your family you people are christians yeah or yeah. you are muslims mm-hmm. then all of a sudden you think maybe religion yako is the best is, is the best ama nini ama mm-hmm. unaanza ku believe na hizo vitu ukienda kwa waindi wako na religion yao ukienda jewish ziko different with different believes like to a point even we have different religions with different types of gods mm-hmm. shaitani tu anakuwa kama moja unja <laughs> nakemewa so it's personal and there were some doctrines that were made by people in their own way of beliefs so as to be able to to worship and create a worshiping formula according to them which maybe they they didn't even have wrong intention or some mangati kama christian ili christianity ilikuja ku control hapana maybe it was just a doctrine ya ilikuja niaje tuisomeni hivi ndio word itakuwa inafanywa depending na msia li believe in that particular side so your relationship with god counts what opens my eyes every day is i flash back na angalia na look back time ya covid 2020 2021 everything man made stopped in 2021 clubs were closed in 2020 clubs were closed everything was closed even churches were closed mosques were closed temples were closed so do you want to tell me yeah uh that now people posed being close to god for two years mm. but did uh, did people were people still uh, they were they being blessed your time so yeah. not believe all mm, to yeah. so for me i feel everything that was man made stopped during covid whatever that was going on uh, is now maybe kitu ni wewe personal na dunia mwe personal na god church zilifunga hakuna kwenda church mm-hmm. but bado wasio waliendelea na life walikuwa na pray na wana blessiwa mm-hmm. so inamaanisha kumbe unaweza kosa kwenda church two years na maisha yako bado ikue juu na believe in god na una make prayers time inafaa mm-hmm. so hizi places of worship zili come as a medium to bring us together to worship together because maybe nikiwa solo naweza kosa ku kuko na relationship mm-hmm. so that's my opinion like ni wewe personal na mungu wako Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I also feel like um religion and all these things. I'm, I'm a Christian because I was born in Kenya. Mm-hmm. If I was born in India, it would have been otherwise. So I don't 
see why it should be a big deal that oh sg i'm a muslim and you know muslim is the right religion you're a muslim just because you were born in somalia it's never that deep like your geographical location is the reason why you are like that Ndenya wewe ni mkamba. Wewe ni mkrist. Oh, Rwandis. Wewe ni mkamba. Wewe ni Rwandis. Wewe ni mganga juu, eh? Wewe alishahama wewe ni Rwandis. Wewe ni Rwandis. She's Christian because she was born in Rwanda. Like there is no big deal ni geographical location. Yeah, we are not really given the, the, the chance yeah. to choose. Eh. Ndenya. Let's say we all serve a superior being. So Mungu wetu sote, it doesn't matter whether you're Muslim, you're Christian, you're mm. what matters is your personal relationship with God. Yeah. Sure. And humanity. Like, yeah. Mm. yeah growing things up, that cannot be seen are mm-hmm. things that matter. Yeah, for sure. Now, for me, growing up, I I grew up as a Christian and I knew my religion is the best. And that is what I was fed. You know, just like you said, I, I was born in that family that was yeah, um, a Christian, Christian whatever-based family. But as I grew older, I interacted with Muslims. I went to a school that actually had three quarter of Muslims and just a quarter were Christians and the school was Christ- was a Catholic institution. So we all had to go to church every single morning. But I I started asking myself questions. I wanted to understand these other people's religion. For example, growing up, I knew Indians, uh, the Hindu, they they worship a cow, you know? And then I come to find out later it's a significance of something, you know, but I, I didn't get to know that as I was growing up. And I've interacted with older people than me that res- know that Indians or Hindus yeah. pray a, to a cow, you know. So I believe that everyone has to look at what they believe in. You have to question your religion and the people that you call the men of God and the people that you call mom and dad. I spoke to a pastor in an interview and he said the problem is people do not read the word of God or rather the book, the holy book by themselves. Munangojanga kuinterpretiwa. Now according to that man of God or the pastor or the whatever, ata interpret according to ye vile anaelewa. But the book is available for everyone to read and understand how you want to coexist with people. It is very simple. You live with people in harmony and like Budita has said, energies kuna watu tu hawaelewi mambo za energies na si kupenda kwao mimi nazielewa na tangu nielewe mambo yangu imekuwa gumu hata mimi tangu nielewe that how i treat people is how i get treated mm-hmm. how i i reciprocate or i give to the universe that is how i'm treated it yeah. is very simple hakuna mambo za regulations nyingi na rules mm-hmm. you know but anyway that is according to me sijui wewe nyumbani mali unatazama unaonaje hmm? let us know where do you know that this is now exploitation and this is spirituality let us know down on the comment section and thank you so much for watching real life podcast right here on spm buzz until next time it's goodbye from us it's goodbye